going down down to check on my day four of the echo park rental place that i'm building and i'll check what is the how far they have dig on for the continuation of our fence um the amount of grief i had of people think that what i'm building is to hold back the soil on both sides what you don't realize that this is only a wall both side will soon be flattened out so this is just a wall and also if you look at it i have four files of hollow blocks but this is done because i want the walls to be the one holding the gravel when i pour it on the middle of the road so by the time that i put the gravel six inch thick maybe five inch to six inch thick that's what i plan to do and here i could show you better so you look at it on top of this i'll put about six inch thick of gravel which we can get cheaply in our reverse here and then cement on top later on by the time it's settled so that means what you can see by the time i'm finished will be like two and a half of this wall so from here that's the base Got a waps there. That's the base. There will be gravel until here. Then the cement. So you might be only seeing three to two and a half, I think, of the wall by the time that I cemented this part here. So, like I said, that part will be plotted out for, by me, of course, because I told the owner I'll take it out. And she said, it's alright, just do what you want. So, this one is only a small mound. And I'll have later, we will be rendering the part here. And the old man is planning to flatten this out to make his place flatter so what they've done this morning is continuing on to build the ditch for the fence I'm glad it's not raining anymore so this is how it looks like from here so we will still be getting some of the top soil there to put on the side here because there's nothing holding back on the back on it. So that will continue on past the budget bungalow. So look at look at this. The top soil but it's mostly made from our diggings when we were doing the road. So this is what they've done. And they're still just having a break. It's 9.30, but they're just having a break early. But this is what we are so far. First ditch. And on the second ditch. And I think they will make a third. Or I think they will continue. I told them to continue on until the ne next post. If you can see where the dog is. Wait, my phone's ringing. That was old bees. Lasada order just come so that was the phone call all about but I'm going back there now to check on their continuing digging of the fence but I want them to continue on to where the next metal pole is so that was the plan the fence will be holding back the gravel that I'm gonna put in for the road so it does not serve as a retaining wall like I said there's no so well for it to hold on to because both sides will soon be flattened out
And what you're gonna see when I finish cementing the road after I fill it up with gravel, let it settle down, then I've cemented it. It's only two inch of the saw road, um, two or three hollow blocks. The rest will be all cement. So the reason why I'm cement fencing it right now is to prevent the other side from using it, of course, as all of my followers know why I did this fence and also to prevent the gravel from being covered with soil. So here we are now on the side. This is what we are in my fence first. So we are now on the third hole from the last one that we have um, poured. So but I want them to continue on four more columns nearly to that post there where the so the multi cup is there with the sun So we're here almost to the post for the seventh hole. But since it's not raining now, I could walk down here. Walking through. Then the fence will be on that side and on this side. But that will go through the boundary. But you can see here what it looks like. So the neighbors are very fun of Mahjong. But this is how it looks like. And that's the view. By the time that we'll be clearing it all, you can see the view of the city and the sea. So this is it. Um... It's gonna be a big project but I know it's satisfying when you make something. I know people that has been into building knows what I'm talking about because if I'm not into um, building I could just sell it and don't worry about it. Buy the land sell it but I like the building side of it. Making and creating things that's why I'm developing this. So, anyone who's interested for long term, I could offer it to them, but I'll be retaining a few of the units. Because long term lease can also mean that, like selling, like 25 plus 25 years. So, if you're leasing it to me, I want to make sure that your heir will be the one inheriting it. But as of the moment, I got very, very many viewers suggesting what's the name of this echo park. And in fact, they still, a lot of the consensus still like the echo park idea with a name on it. But I will still continue on to formulate what name I'm going to call it. But I do like the echo park something. But wait and see until I'm done. Then it will have a finality name that in which I will also do in my uh, that's the name that I'm gonna register in the business registration so walking back the Lois left there digging on his own because Janelle's gonna unload the sand that old Lito's bringing So this is going to be how it looks like from here. That will be the entrance there. 5 meters wide. Fence on both sides. So I don't want them to be coming over here on both sides. So all the boundaries will be defined.
Um, the suggestion of net net gifts that um, net gifts that I'm gonna put some bougainvilleas in here. I'm not so viable to that one because bougainvillea types around here got big roots. I don't I don't want to be repairing my road because the roots are already breaking it apart. And based on experience, before I had around my guest house on the wall outside, I got some bougainvilleas growing. And it starts to break the wall of the my fence so I end up digging it out because the roots are really big and then, you know the tigula on the top of my wall the branches are going inside so I, I like the idea of the thorns I'm not so particular about the flowers because um, I know bougainvillea will be such a pain when they start growing wild, I haven't come across with soft roots yet. So since I'm a fan of lemons and lemon trees that I plant around my house have big thorns as well. And another thing nice about the lemons is their insect repellent. So it helps with the prevention of mosquitoes because you got the citrusy smell as you drive down to the bungalows. So... That's why I'm thinking it gifts. I think I'll just have to plant both sides with lemons. And it does uh, have the thorn, the protection of the thorn, and the protection of the citrusy smell against the mosquitoes, lessen the mosquitoes around, because this is, you know, tropical countries, got loads of mosquitoes. And I don't have the aesthetic um, look of the flowers but but then again you will have the nice look when the lemon starts fruiting but it does to serve serves to thorns and the repellent of the mosquitoes so what we're doing now is um, old Lito is sifting the sun so we can use the fine sand for rendering and then use the other one for um, foundation of our I mean the footing of our wall fence so Junelle is now making the stirrups the ties for the beam beam footing and so we will separate this because um, so we'll have two use of our sand so we're not right here in our working area and I'll be checking how much the loy has dug up over there. Mm. Going down to check on my fencing building. Um, you've seen the two here is old little sifting sand. Junelle's doing the rebar ties. And I'll see what Deloitte's doing. They've been, Junelle and Deloy was digging this morning. I want to check how far does he done. They both done this morning. I think Deloitte's the only one left here. So, I went down to the city. But unfortunately, some of the bill payment center are closed. I tried twice and... So anyway... I think the deadline for the electric bills will be Friday because I try to avoid going out Saturday because that's very busy because as we are in ECQ, we're not allowed to go out on Sundays. And apparently, it was true that the Pitos area was quite strict that they inspect the vehicles and your pass because there's one case in Pitos now but it's not one confirmed case and he was taken to the hospital already so here we are now you can see the visitors of the old man is on their side now if I didn't make a fence you know where they're gonna park they're gonna park there until they finish what they're making there they usually go there for mahjong so that's the one I'm avoiding. That we can't even pass to our own road because they'll be using it. 
and another thing the purpose of the fence is to make sure the gravel both sides will be hold on too so it will just stay in the middle not mix with the earth so the earth will be digging some of it down because I'll a few still the part of the digging so here we are on hole number one two and three so that's the one we gonna oh there's number four so that's hole number four so this is the footing part the beam footing part and then there will be hole number five until we're near the pipe like i just have to breathe because it's really hot here you know like you're the scorching heat at two two o'clock in the afternoon the lawyer don't care because i told them to transfer the tarp and they don't want to transfer because it's still very hot. He don't care about the heat. So that's it. So you can see we are now ready to pour the beam again. Beam putting of our fence. Now you can see that their the old man's relatives are parked on their side because I'm making something here. So they can't use the road. Now you can imagine it if I didn't have the fence. So this is what the lawyer likes doing. I told him to transfer the tarpaulin, tie it up in the jackfruit tree, but he don't want to do it. He just want to dig and dig and dig in the heat. It's his choice. Because this tarpaulin where I'm at now, when I'm on, is not needed on this side anymore. It can be on that side. And then tied on the jackfruit tree and tied to the other tree. Or like what they're doing here. Put some hollow blocks. But he don't want to do it. This is what uh, sometimes like just leave him to what he wants to do. Because I said dig the ditch. But make sure that you're covered in the heat. Won't even do it. So... I can't force him to do the safe one. They leave him to it because we've been through a lot of building work and what I just leave him to what he wants to do. So now you can see when we file this, like three hollow blocks off is what you see. So it the my fence will be higher than that land, but I will pick up the filling that we have on the top. So the almost like on level with the road this one here because i'll be the one picking up the level there the rubble that we chuck in and we're also going to pick up some on the top on this one and fill it up on the side where the loy is now as you can see and now the tunnel is doing all the rebars so we can shape it all up tomorrow then we can pour the footing beam It's really hot. <laughs> you can see the clouds. No white. All blue. Really hot. So we we'll have four, one, two, three, four new columns to do. And while they're doing the rebars, I think the lawyer will continue on digging until he reach another line. So that's 3, 2.9, 2.9. That's one rebar there, two rebars there. So no more. The rebars will just continue on be connected. Because that's 6 meters high. And we don't have to cut that's why i put it at 2.9 meters in between from the center of each column so each 
um, footing beam will go through the column holding it all together That's how it looks like from there then to the part where the loy is now so we'll have four columns and it won't take long for that to continue this is only Monday now so we'll have more done this week even the weather permits will be halfway through the whole length here until the end down the whole boundary line